Hi everyone, I'm Marla Miller from MarlaMiller.com presenting another quick query critique. Um, I almost forgot the name of, the, of my um, series. Uh, this one is maybe because this is like my 58th or something like that. Um, but before I get to that, to uh, critiquing this query letter, which is fiction, um, I want to give a shout out to um, anyone who is blogging in their genre. Um, you might have noticed, I hope you noticed, that I now have a blogger who um, is getting published in romance and I have another blogger who is hoping to be published in memoir. Um, they both have um, wonderful presence on the web and um, it's exactly those kind of writers that I'd love to support at MarlaMiller.com and also have them support me. So if you are one of those writers and you've got a, a blog or a vlog that you'd like to share, um, talk to me about linkage because um, that's just good business and I'm always looking to do um, good business with writers. Okay, let me get to this query letter because it's a little long. Um, Dear Blank, I'm seeking publication of my fictional novel, Looking for Me, a drama suffused literary narrative entwined with a bit of humor, suspense, and dark realities topped with an urban twist. Raised by her big mama with love, wild imagination, and an inward light as spectacular as the morning sun. Now big mama is dead and seven-year-old Mona is thrust into the foster care system. Her inward light doused by her foster father's darkness. She suffers an infliction of sexual, physiological, and physical abuse to her to speak of. Pushed beyond her limits, Mona finds herself in the last place she'd hoped to be. The morning she lowers her head and snorts drugs through her nostrils, she enters her final decline. Her life tragically shaped, abandoned by her husband, and she does not know where the, the whereabouts of her only child. Raped and left for dead, soaking in a pool of blood and urine of her assailants, fate intervenes. Mona's wounds are bandaged and, and, and tedious journey of physical and emotional healing begins. Mona riots against herself and the voices in her head, desperately trying to find her authentic self. After rehab bouts with relapse and struggling to confront her demons, she is offered the job of facilitating a woman's group in the basement of the church. But these are not just ordinary girls. Their scripts don't include sugar and spice and everything nice, quite the contrary. Resistant and defiant, the girls make Mona's job next to impossible. They have lived it, done it, and been through it all. Worn out and beaten down by the tragedies of life, the meeting the meetings are the end of the road, the last pit stop for them. But for Mona, the newly appointed facilitator, the meetings are where it all has to begin. Ultimately, looking for me as a story of inspiration, resolve, of a woman digging deeper than she thought possible, trying to find the strength not to completely crumble. Colorful and graphic, a brutally honest exploration of topics, considered taboo and too racy for most traditional Sunday morning sermons. Looking for Me is completed at 75 plus thousand words in the first in a planned trilogy. Looking for Me too is plotted and partially completed in the end with Mona. In the end, will Mona reunite with the love of her life? Will she find her daughter? Fail at facilitating the group? And lastly, will she find the most valuable thing she's lost herself? Now about me in a nutshell. I began my writing career at the tender age of six. True, stapled notebook paper in the booklet form. I was sure my four page masterpiece would be a bestseller. Allow me to toot my horn, own horn briefly by stating that I've won and been a finalist in numerous contests, recently receiving the 2010 First Annual Blank Award. Tempted yet, I'd love to forward the completed manuscript. Thank you in advance for your time and consideration. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Okay. Well, what do I think of this? I want to see how... Okay, so that took me uh, probably three minutes. Uh, to, to read, maybe a little less than three because I did chat in the beginning, but that's a long query letter, number one. So that's my first speed bump, is that that query letter is just too darn long. Uh, number two, <clears throat> that the query letter really has no focus. Um, I don't know what this story is about. I don't know if it's about Mona. I don't know if it's about her when she was little. I don't know if it's about her as an adult. I don't know if it's about the five girls that she facilitates in a group therapy session. Um, I'm confused about why they would put someone who is so um, down on her own luck as a facilitator in, in a system with girls who are also down on their luck. Uh, so that kind of, uh, I, I have a hard time suspending my disbelief about that. Um, and remember, we read fiction to suspend our disbelief. And we read it for conflict, 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 and then conflict resolution. And so that leads me to my next, my next point, which is um, I don't know where to put my energy in this um, conflict-filled query letter. Um, there's so many conflicts that she's had to deal with in her life. Where, what are we zooming in on? 
and and um, it, this almost reads like a memoir. It almost reads like um, a almost a diary insert uh, rather than uh, the arc of a, a novel. And I hate to be the bearer of bad news. And again, it's only my opinion. But um, I've read a few queries in my day. And uh, this one just is all over the place. So um, oftentimes when a query letter is this um, um, diffused, you know, when I can't, when I can't get a focus anywhere, you know, I, I don't know where to go. Um, it, it's oftentimes emblematic of the work's uh, lack of focus. Now, I don't know if that's true for um, looking for me, but um, it might be. And I remember when I first heard that, uh, I didn't want to hear it because it was about my work. And um, sure enough, the the person who was you know giving me feedback about my query letter was spot on because my novel was not uh, focused. I was trying to tell so much that I ended up telling nothing. And I think that that's actually what uh, this query letter suffer suffers from. She's tried to put so much in here that um, one plus one equals one half. And um, if you've been to any writers conferences you know that saying because we all say it. Sometimes you know more is too much and uh, less is more. So I think that this um, author has some work to do in this query letter. It could be that she has some work to do in, in, in the novel. Um, but I would encourage her to walk away from this for a while. Think about this and, um, and then sit down and, and see what it is Mona's arc is. Because if Mona's a protagonist, we want to follow her. We don't want to follow five girls. We want to follow her. And she can, the five girls can be a part of her story. But... Um, you know, we want the, the arc to develop over Mona so that we can follow it. And all the conflicts should be woven around Mona. Um, I hope that's helpful. I know it's not great news. Um, but remember that writing is rewriting. And until the next time, be well and keep writing.